Hi, Jean Marc. Hi, Alyssa. How are, How you? are you? I'm doing good. How's your good. wife? Is she better? She's better. She's back to school, but uh, despite, although it was a mild case, the um, branches mm. uh, are, are still heavy. Oh. And uh, so, so it's it's if you're not protected, this can be really nasty. Yeah. So. Yeah. I hope you didn't have people in your surrounding that that got sick. No, no, no. There were people that died, but from COVID. Uh, but yeah, but okay. we're good so far. Okay, not too bad. Yeah. But when I when a year ago I saw my neighbor coming back from hospital, uh, he was crawling back. So oh. he said, uh, so it, it's, well, and then people don't come back. So yeah. that experience. Yeah. It's rough. Yeah. And um, it, it's, it's life, you know. Yeah. I would, ne would not have expected two years ago to go through such an event, a worldwide right. event. Like right, uh, right. And page it, of history. It makes me, it makes me like really question like something that is so it's like you can't see it, but yet it's so powerful that it can wipe out so many people, right? Yeah. Quickly, yeah. so fast. It's and, and without us being prepared or, or it, it, it comes out of blue sky. So. Yeah. Yeah. What a shock. Yeah. So Mark anyway. says he's running late. Um, okay. And let me see, I'll share. Um, let's see if I can share my screen, share screen. Yeah, yeah. always babble too much. <laughs> yeah. And I love the picture you have behind you. <laughs> Each time it's, it's a pleasure to see. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I stay in here all day, so I figure I get something that's that kind of you well, know, yeah. keep me in here, and that yeah. colorful thing helps. Yeah. Um, so it looks like for some reason I cannot share my screen. Oh. Um, I have all these error messages that pops up, so I don't know. But let me. I'm gonna put this in the the chat window, and that's and okay. The link. To see if I can open it. Yeah this in the chat window. I don't get that fixed. Okay. So at least I can open it. So yeah. this works. Where is, oh, this is, where is my window? Ah, I've been doing several things at the same time. Mm. which is not <laughs> I understand okay so share so this is going to work yeah okay here we are yeah. and going to make it bigger yeah uh, so I think with us here, we can get started, Jean-Marc, if that's okay. And then- Okay for me. Yeah. Okay. So I'll take the first uh, bullet item. So Jenkins is the way status. Um, we're still writing stories. We are working on, well, we're um, stories. These are user stories that they, that um, the Jenkins users, they submit how they're using Jenkins, the benefits that they get out of Jenkins, the values received. Um, we put that, it's kind of like a, a mini case study. So we're still writing those, we're still collecting them. And in return, we are still sending people t-shirts as a thank you for submitting their stories. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that we decided to do because we have so, now we have so many stories is that we, we created a map and if you go on, um, let me see, if you go on this link. So I'm going to give you the link. Jenkins is away dot map. Oh, oh no. Uh, let's 
I, is it okay. on the on the main site? Um, no, it's not. It has its own site, but let me see. Why am I not? I opened uh, Jenkins is the way. Jenkins, let me see. Oh, there um, you go. And if you click, if you go all the way on top, and then there's, uh, there is there isn't a map. So if you put like a slash on the um the URL, Jean Marc, if you put uh -huh. a slash map, M A P. Let's see what that does. Oh, there, there we go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if you click on one of those um, icons, you'll see a um, a story that pops up, uh -huh. what people say about it. And if you want to read more about it, there's a link that you can click on. Um, takes you directly to the story. But the goal here was just to give us a visual where Jenkins is and what people are saying about Jenkins on a global map. Uh-huh. So that was the intention there. That looks good. Yeah. So um, really I um, I haven't done uh, anything with regards to promoting this. So that's on my next things to do. Um, I'm going to blog, a, uh, um, post a blog, and then we'll also have CDF help us to promote this and share this with a wider audience as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. that is that. And then you click on, uh, if you click on, is it home? If you click on home, uh, on the, the top bar, you go up the black yeah. bar, uh, a little bit over to your right. These, or oh, user stories, user stories. I'm sorry. Yeah. If you click on user uh, stories, uh, it's next to the map. Uh, the, the black bar. Yep, you're almost there. Go up a little. Go up, up, up more, up more. It's in that black bar. Yep, and it's into your left. It, well, it's my left, but yeah, there we go. Oh, there. Okay, I, I yeah. went on, on the black. Yeah. Okay, I go. Yeah, on you stories. click on that. Uh huh. And okay. you'll see the the dates. We're still posting stories, and those are all the stories that we have collected. Um, as of this year. So it's a lot of stories that people are sharing about Jenkins. Yeah. Yeah. So if you click on one of them, it'll, you can um, read about it and, you know, see what the challenges people face and how they use Jenkins to solve those challenges. Hmm. Yeah. And, they, and they'll give us a quote on why they love Jenkins. Okay. Yeah. So. Nice. So we are about. Uh, my guess is around sixty people that answered. We have or, oh, we got a hun a couple of hundred people that submitted their stories, but we've posted. This is a over one hundred stories that we have posted. Yeah, I see that here. So they're about six a page. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, um, so that's with Jenkins is the way .io status. Mm -hmm. um, and then let me see, we'll go to the next item on the agenda. Okay, so I'll right. skip, I'll skip Mark's um, item. And I'll go mm -hmm. down to the upcoming events and planning. Um, so Fostum, uh, I have reached out to the organizers. And okay. they do not have the plans for the stand yet for FOSTEM. So um, they said to circle back in December. So I will do that. I'll circle back in December um, just to make sure that we secure a, um, a virtual booth for Jenkins. Um, and then I'll work with you on the content that we want to have on that on our site. Right. Yeah. Um, and I know that Olivier has a dev room, so we will try to get some Jenkins talks in there. Um, mm -hmm. And perhaps some, if CDF has some talks that's relevant, then we can definitely um, get them to submit some talks there as well. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so last year, and this is, I think this is um, common in a lot of the virtual conferences that we have now, um, Jean-Marc, is that there's low attendance to the booth. In, in these virtual events, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, if you can think of anything that we can do to get people to the booth, um, please do share. Um, I think sending swag out is, oh, it's, it's a hairball. So yeah, yeah it's, um, it can be expensive and shipping can take a long time. Right, and yeah. we, we don't have the effect also that uh, being at the booth is is rewarded and that you can start a conversation yeah uh, with them. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah um, and what what is generally done in these um virtual booths so the virtual ask booth the expert, ask the expert or yeah know. we usually have somebody from jenkins staffing the booth you know if people come and ask questions um then then we have our experts to answer the question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think we also have like, um, I forget last year, uh, Olivier had, I believe it was a video. I'm not sure, I have to go back and check. Um, yeah. yeah. Video or some kind of posters. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. We have a, we have poster um, for how people can contribute to the project. We have that. And then we share some of our case stories as case uh, user stories as well. Um, Should we or could we their form of posters or things like that uh, mention that we're going to submit for uh, She Codes Africa or... <laughs> Google Summer of Code and these kind of things because this can attract yeah. uh, people. Yes. And and is is a way to uh, to attract traffic. Yeah. <laughs> and start a conversation on, on that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm preaching for my church there. I like it. <laughs> I like it. So at least uh, uh, give a, a positive feedback or or mention it as being a, a positive contribution. Yeah. Uh, but also to attract candidates or or. So I have no clue how a virtual booth looks like. Um, I but... I can send you the link. I'll actually I'll add. I'll look for it and then I will uh, link it to this document. Right. Okay. And and, and see, I don't know in what form uh, it is. Swag. I'm with my limited experience. I I'm not sure it's a good idea. Yeah. I share your own uh, your. Yeah. Your um. I, stickers. Stickers does pretty well at Fostum. Um, stickers. This is a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And this you can stick in an envelope. Okay. It's just the work. Right. Um, I'll look into. Um, the logistics of this yeah yeah um okay so we talk about, oh yeah, okay. So Fostum will be in person in 2023. That's that, cross fingers. Yep. <laughs> <It's> cross fingers. <laughs> yes. 
Um, it's mainly because travel restrictions are so complicated, right? And uncertain. So. Right, and the fact that it's taking place during the winter month—that's when every a lot of people are sick. Yep. So yeah, that's cross fingers indeed. And then uh, scale. Well, so Mark and I, so in the past, Kosuke and Tyler and I, we usually attend SCALE. So SCALE is an open source conference here in California. It's located in Los Angeles. And it takes place um, usually in beginning of, uh, or towards the end of February, beginning of March. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so they will do this in person next year. Um, so the plan is that we will, Mark will host a Jenkins pipeline um, uh, training. Training, yeah. 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 So we will do that unless uh, marketing tells us that we can't because of budgeting, but I think right now we can. And then we will also have a booth. So Mark, Mark and I, we usually staff the booth um, at scale as well. Um, let me see what else. Okay. And then the next item is the advocacy budget items. Um, yeah. So she code Africa contribution, that budget will come out of marketing. So, um, Saskia is aware of it. Um, so she, she has it on her radar to support this event. Okay as well as the internship for the Linux Foundation. Mm -hmm. Yep, so that so is this on. this looks good. So that looks good, yeah. Um, I have a budget for next year as well. Um, I have budget for swag as well as um, like our contributor summit at DevOps World. So DevOps World will be in person next year but we but we will not have a contributor appreciation event and that usually jean Marc, it takes place after the conference like in the evening that's where we um we do net our networking you know just a lot of eating and drinking and just getting to know um, our contributors better and just connect so we probably will not do that next year but the contributor summit is the all-day event during the conference that we okay. should have. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then Google Summer of Code. Um, I believe we, we are still interested in doing that. I think the, yeah. that program is doing well. So um, I will look into that in the there, past. Yeah. Yeah, we should look uh, at the, the history and notes and, and try to understand what is the, the, the timeline yeah. uh, for that and, and what we need to do at what time. Right. Uh, and, and, that, uh, and I think it's the same for She Codes Africa. Yeah. So having budgeted is already the first step. Mm -hmm. But we need to be, <laughs> need to be sure that we, we have the, the timeline under control. I, I thought uh, triggering um, a brainstorm meeting on on that just to 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 start uh, saying well we need to find uh, uh, mentors. Uh, mentors we need to find subjects we need to probably mm -hmm. fill some paperwork for these organizations yeah um, let me yeah. dig up some old documents and uh -huh. yeah you and I can we can take a look at it. Um, it would be and then go forward from there because <laughs> I currently have no idea where where we're getting at. Yeah, yeah, yep. I'll I'll dig I'll dig it up. All right, I think so. That is all that I have. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you want to cover, Jean Marc? No, I don't have anything. Uh, okay. Anything else. Uh, the, there's just a subject that I'm thinking about, but uh, let me think more on that. Uh, what kind of 
measurements do we have um, about the results of the advocacy and, and outreach? So, um, okay, that's a good question. So they, they, it's it's a, a long shot question, and and but something I believe we we should start thinking on is um, can we find some kind of metrics that would help us to see uh, what is the effect um, of the initiatives we we do. So I believe there there is. Um, uh, now I, I don't exactly know. Is it going to trigger uh, more traffic on the Jenkins.io uh, site? Uh, are we going to? Well, we can measure how many people came to the virtual booth, but is that going to work when we do it uh, uh, live? Um, is very confused in my mind, but I'm I'm just raising uh, the, the the point. What kind of data can we use to uh, support these initiatives? Okay. Just I, I'm going to to think about that or, or see what kind of. A, but I'm I'm fairly new to that. Mm -hmm. But I. I So, Just wondering, trying to to find some quantitative quantitative uh, information in in what we did, but also what is the result of it. I'm, I'm right. rehashing the same. So. Okay, okay. I think that's good, and I think going forward as a team, uh, we can definitely define our what our goals are. What what what's our what our metrics are yeah um yeah so we can definitely do that as we start planning and and see what i i, I have no idea I, I i don't know if it's feasible but this is always something we should have on the back of our mind yeah agree yes, yeah. yeah oh otherwise i don't have any other uh reflection or, or a thought Okay, well, great feedback. So um, we'll leave it as that. And then um, we'll reconvene in another two weeks. Uh, last point. Yeah. Um, uh, we, we would like to have talks for uh, FOSDEM this is the yes. first coming uh, are we going to do, or wouldn't be it a good idea to promote or uh, mention it, or or to create some some attention uh, on that? For instance, on the uh, the dev list, developer list, or mm -hmm. uh, on on another medium. Say, hey, by the way, there is this this conference. Being remote will allow more people to contribute. Is there somebody who wants to pre prepare something? Does he want some help? So you mean like getting to people to submit talk? Yes. Getting the community. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we can definitely do that. We we can do it uh, in, in different circles, uh, but. Um... doing some promotion uh, about that and so that we get some uh, people participate uh, in them can be just an idea like that I would like to test the idea with Mark or somebody more more uh, now it's used right. to the community I, I don't know but here we would like to have talks to uh, uh, to the dev room. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's ask. Let's see. Let's try to trigger interest or or uh, bring people to make the step. Yeah.
Okay, I, I like it. Anything else, Jean-Marc? No, I already spammed you. With... <laughs> <laughs> this Thinking. is great conversation. <laughs> no, this is all good. Good, okay. All right. Thank you for your patience. No problem. I'm learning, I'm learning, so I'm... I'm... Well, we're in this together, so no worries. <laughs> all right, you have a good um, evening. Yes, okay. and you a nice day. Thank you. Your day is starting now. Yes, it is. Okay, Alisa. Bye, Jean. Bye, Jean Marc. Bye bye. Bye.